from the streets of South Africa to the beaches of the Netherlands. Join us as we look at some of the most outrageous motorsport events from around the globe. This is human ingenuity at its finest. Red Bull Tuck It. It's an annual Tuck Tuck rally that takes place in Sri Lanka. It may look like a bit of fun, but you'll need some serious determination to cross the finish line. The gruelling route from Kulagala to Dambulla takes participants two whole days to complete. Beating the competition is all about teamwork. Tuk Tuk racing requires everyone to be aware at all times. Team members need to physically shift their weight around to help steer the vehicle. In more than a few cases, they even have to hop out and push the Tuk Tuk back into position on the course. Red Bull Sheimoto takes inspiration from a unique motorsport that started on the streets of South Africa's townships. Here, the locals simply call it spinning. In the 90s, pioneers of the sport would gather in Soweto to practice the antics outside the criminal world. Back then, there was no structure. It was just about being better than the rest and performing stunts, drag racing and drifting. And it all centered around one car, the BMW 325i. From there, the movement grew, capturing the hearts and minds of the youth. Car spinning is now known as the fastest growing motorsport in South Africa, and Red Bull Sheimoto brings it to a global stage. What could be more fun than skiing behind a motorcycle? Part motocross, part skiing. This is Red Bull Twitch and Ride. Participants ride in teams of two, with the motocross rider towing the skier over snow, ice and dirt at up to 40 miles per hour. Each race starts with an all-out sprint as skiers try to reach their riders as fast as possible. Once the skier grabs the rope, it's go time. Making a successful lap is largely down to the skier's performance. It's on them to take the right line around each corner and make sure they have just the right amount of tension in the rope. Get ready for a race across the Alps like no other. In Switzerland, these small motorbikes are called tow fleets. And in Red Bull Alpenbrevet, they're the only way to get around. Most tow fleas were built between the 60s and the 80s. Their old-fashioned design is extremely simple, featuring a bicycle-like frame with a small engine. The race is over 132 kilometers long, with steep, unforgiving roads. Riders have to push their vehicles to the limit, and things often don't go to plan. In this competition, it's not good enough to be a good rider. Chances are, you'll have to repair your bike at some point along the way. Then there's engine power to consider. If your bike can't handle the steep roads, you'll have to manually pedal to the top. A brutal challenge when the average Toffoli weighs 40 kilograms. The main goal is to win the race, but there's also a side contest where style is key. Both the rider and their bike are judged to decide who pulled off the best 80s inspired look. Who will be crowned the ultimate endurance champion? Red Bull Knockout sees a thousand pro and amateur riders come together in the Netherlands to go head to head. It's known as the toughest beach race in the world and in previous years, it's even joined the calendar as the grand finale of the World Enduro Super Series. As you might have guessed, 
The event follows a knockout format where the fastest 750 riders proceed to the two-hour final. First across the finish takes the title. The track itself is impressive to say the least. Riders battle it out across nine kilometers of sandy insanity. Right out of the gate, competitors reach over 160 kilometers per hour on the straight. Each round features 14 jumps and 19 turns, all of which makes it the biggest, baddest beach race in motocross. Let us know your favorite motorsport events in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more. You can check out all the latest motorsport action right now over on Red Bull TV.